Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, we are doing some dip nails. It's been a minute since I've done any dip powder manis. Um, mostly because I kind of got a little turned off when the nail prop shop decided to just shut their doors and not say a word to any of their brand ambassadors. Um, and yeah, so I kind of got doing other stuff like with regular polish and gel and um but I have a mani in mind that I want to do so we're gonna do that today so this is royal dips uh dip powder and this is called Lexi and this one glows in the dark and as you can see it's orange so we're gonna do some pumpkin nails today uh so this is from the nail prop shop um, and like I said, they're no longer available. They just up and closed their store and didn't say anything. Um, but I like this. Um, it's a swatch tray and then it's got the holder. This comes out. I guess I should show you. Well, I'm not going to pull it out because I'm knowing my luck. I'm going to have powder everywhere. But this, this comes out and then the corner you can pour the polish back into or polish um you can pour the dip powder back into your jar um so yeah so today we are going to do some pumpkins so this one glows so i was like super happy and I thought about it today. I'm like, I want orange. And then I'm like, because I wanted to do some pumpkin nails. And I do have orange polish. But I wanted it to glow. And I'm like, oh, I have dip outer. And actually, um, I have quite a few of the Royal Dip um, powders. Um, her glow ones. So... I'll probably be doing a couple more manis with I've got a couple more ideas um, but yeah I want to I want to give away a, of a Facebook so I was able to pick colors um, from Royal Dip I think I got three two or three colors and then some gel polish or like top and base and um, so I picked the glow powders because, you know, it was close to Halloween, I think. <laughs> and so that was pretty cool. And then, of course, I had to get all of the glow powders after that. So then I placed another order. Um, Royal Dips. Um, she's a Canadian company. So that was kind of nice as well, since I am Canadian. But yeah, I see girls all the time doing dip powder manis. Um on press-ons and I'm like okay why I I have all these I have a lot of dip powders considering I didn't really get I got into it briefly for about a maybe about a year but um I I changed my mani so often that it was kind of um I'm like oh should I do dip powders so, I don't know. They have some gorgeous colors. So, oh, and I forgot to tell you after I'm babbling. I'm using just a, a base coat. We're doing gel. So then I'm going to pop these in the lamp. And then we will come right back. One sec. Okay, so that's the first coat. Um, I do, with these ones, I actually did three coats. I'm not going to make you watch all three. I'm just going to make you watch two. Um, but I take a hard brush and brush off all the excess um, because I want I don't want all the extra bits and it keeps um, by doing a hard brush versus a fluffy brush it keeps your um, your layers thin 
Whereas when I first started doing dip powder, I was using a fluffy brush and it wasn't getting all the, the excess powder off. So my nails ended up coming out super thick and they were a pain in the butt because, you know, you have to file them. And, um, but now that I'm like, when I figured out um, about using a hard brush, then um, it was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So you can use one of these brushes or I saw um, some ladies, they would use like a, a hard toothbrush. So just a hard brush instead of the nice little fluffy brushes that come with a lot of the kits. You don't want, you don't want that. I can't remember, did I? I can't remember if I dipped that second one or not because I was talking. I don't think I did. So I'm gonna dip again because I don't I don't remember. I think I got talking and we're gonna do this too. <laughs> Cause I think I was a dork and uh Totally didn't dip. I just put the base coat on and then put it on. So, don't do that. <laughs> it's like, whoa, what am I doing? Oh, okay, I didn't brush that one, but that's not too bad. I'm just, I just, um, I wipe the brush on a piece of paper towel so it's not um, contaminating my base coat. Or at least I can minimize it. So tap, tap, tap. And see, it keeps it really thin and even. And then, um, and then when, uh, when it's all cured, when I get the, the coats on, I just take a, a buffer block and then buff it. And uh, we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this one into the lamp. I'm gonna do the third coat um, and then we'll come back. But there it is, that's two coats. And you can see how nice and even it is. So. Okay, one moment. Okay, so since um, I've done the three coats and um, while I'm waiting for it to cure, I figured I would show you. So this comes out. I will just pour that back in. So I just tap it out. And then tap it back in. So then what I do is I just take warm water and some dish soap and um, I wash it out and then I'm good to go for the next time. If you don't have something like this, you can always use a, um, um, a cupcake liner as well. Um, yeah, just, just use what you've got. Okay. So now I've done um, three coats. So then I just take my fluffy brush and then I have like a buffer block. I actually got a big pack of these from Dollarama. So then I just go and do a light buffing um, just so I can make it all nice and smooth. And then what I will do is I will base coat it uh, and then cure that. Um, I'll clean it off first and then, then I will um, base coat and um, cure that. And then we will come back for stamping. Okay, one moment. Okay, so once I've base coated it and it, I've cured it, now I will go in 
and I will take the sticky layer off just because I'm going to um, stamp. So I don't want, I don't want, I don't need the sticky layer on there. Um, and the reason I base coat is so I can smooth it out a little more. Um, so the stamping will stick. Okay, so I'll put those aside. We'll let those ones dry. So the uh, stamping plate I'm going to use is, okay, where it is? Oh, there it is. BP-L099. And I kind of like this image. We're going to do some pumpkin faces. I wanted to do something a little different, but, um, you know, be pumpkin-like. So I'm going to use She Modern Sticky Black Stamping Polish. So I'm hoping this image will fit the big nails. We will see shortly. So I think I have everything. Okay, let's get started. Okay, there. Try not to blind you. So, scrape. And then pick up. And then I'm just going to take this off because I don't know what that, oh, it's the witch. So I'm going to aim where I want it. Oh. Ah. Stupid thing. Okay. My nail tip fell off. I had issues with this one earlier. So hopefully. So I'm, I've got a little bit of a bare space base there so what I'm going to do is we're going to add one here so maybe that one and then that way it'll kind of fill it in so it doesn't look funny I got two there I'm just going to leave the two so I'm going to add oh. ah. I knew I should have taken the other one off. <laughs> okay, let me we'll we'll just we'll deal with with that one later. <laughs> it's pissing me off. I'll have to get it back on there. Okay, let's try this again. So we will take that off because that doesn't belong and then take that off because that doesn't belong. Okay, so now I'm going to aim. Oops, got a little aggressive there. <laughs> so, and I'm going to do what I tried to do over there was add on. So we're going to add on this guy. I like that one. It's kind of cute. So we're going to add him on to the bottom. And I've got a couple little spots. I can add a couple on the side if I want. Okay, so I've got one little spot here that I might put something on the corner. Um, but I'll see. We're just going to move on and go to the next ones. So I'm going to 
take that off and that off and then I take and I aim where I want it and then there we go I'm just going to do a few more with you and then we'll come back after I finished and then we'll take a look. Do, do, do. So I just take off what I don't want to end up going on to the nail. And then so I'm going to Aim and there. See, it looks pretty cute. I'm kind of liking them. Sometimes I wish these images were just slightly longer. It's okay when you've got little short nails, but sometimes. It's, it would be nice if they were just a smidge longer. Okay. Oops, I'm having everything fall over. Okay, and then aim where I want. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put all these back <laughs> on my stand. But I think what I might do is I'm going to add one more to the bottoms of these guys just because it looks it looks a little bare. But um, Okay, so I've stamped them all. I managed to get him back on the stand I had to um, clean it off and then redo it. So what I did, um, cause I had some bare spots. So I added, um, just one at a time and then kind of filled in where I, where I needed it. So, so like I added him in there and, and that. So, so yeah, so that's them. So these I will top coat tomorrow because I want them to fully dry. And um, before, because I'm going to do gel top coat them. So then um, what I will we'll do is I will put a base coat on, cure that, and then put a gel top coat and then cure that. And then they'll be done. So stay tuned um, for the final look. Okay. We'll be right back okay so here they are they are all done i think they are super cute and uh, they glow really well uh so stay tuned i will have swatch photos i'll have glow in the dark pictures for you and of course puppies so thanks for hanging out with me while i do these pumpkin inspired nails or jack-o-lanterns um yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and you are staying safe. Uh, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye.